2023 election is in the news once again, and this time, it leads to Governor of Ebony State planning to dump PDP for the APC. And what strategies can we use in fixing Nigerian politics? This is up for discussion. And this is Post Politics. I am Kyle Laden. Welcome back. This is Plus Politics. A little while after the announcement of the exit of Ebony State Governor Dave Umahi from the People's Democratic Party PDP, the Apex Igbo Group or Anese Indigbo Youth Council worldwide has stated that the Igbo ethnic group has decided to dump the PDP also for the APC ahead of the 2023 presidential election. The governor, in a meeting with the National Working Committee of the PDP, stated that his decision to join the APC was irrevocable. He said his reason for defecting to the ruling APC was to protect the interests of the Southeast in the 2023 elections. Joining us to discuss this is the Secretary General of Oaneze Mdigbo, Uche Okuku, and Fred Inziako, who is a legal practitioner. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Yeah. Yes, let, let me start with Mr. Yes, Uche. Uh, let me start with Mr. Uche Okuku. Uh, Mr. Uche, I, yes. I, I understand that the Apex Igbo Social Cultural Group is not partisan. And therefore, but let's look at this statement. How strategic do you think this is in the quest of the Indigo to become the president or someone from Indigo, I mean, from... Uh, Igbo extraction to become the president in 2023. Well, thank you, my thank you, my brother. Um, the first thing I need to correct is that the Igbo is not limited to the southeast. We have Igbos in we have Igbos in Edo, the Wanke, we have the Igbos in Rivers, we have the Igbos in Delta, we have Igbos in Aquaibom, and we have Igbos in the five uh, southeastern states. So, we are desirous as a people to produce the president of the country. We want to have a president of Igbo extraction come in 2023, and we are seriously working towards it as a people and as a body. You will like you will remember that in 2019 last year, I adopted the uh, president in the executive chambers of the presidential villa with the ministers and other traditional rulers. We, our argument then was clear that if the president finishes his eight years in 2023, we will be clearer, we will be nearer to the promised land if we support him, so we can get support from him, the president, so to produce him an Igbo president. I had predicted earlier that Governor Mai will join the APC. I had also predicted in the past that the governor of Adia Spiko Kizikbazu would join the APC. I had already predicted that governor Obiano of Anambra would join the APC. I can say authoritatively that before the end of 2021, that more Igbo governors will join the APC, ruling APC, which would take, make it easier for us to produce the president of the platform of APC in 2023. So I congratulate Omai on his bold step and his, his vision, his courage, and his decision. I sincerely congratulate him. Okay. Um, so, somebody like you, this is not coming to you as a surprise. Let me quickly uh, get to Fred and Zako. Uh, a lot of people will say that. Uh, um, how strategic is this move? Because some would say that if Igbos really want to become the president, they need to extend their tentacles across the two major political parties or even more, so that the option, head or tail, will still be there. 
But some have believed that you don't have to jump ship for you to achieve that. Uh, how do you expect PDP to receive this kind of story when you got there through their platform and nothing has happened? There was no faction, there was no acrimony. So why do you want to abandon us at this time? Well, the truth is that uh, the PDP is not a national party. As it stands today, it's the only uh, region that the PDP has a strong foot in. The only two regions it has a strong foot in is the southeast and the south south. It does not have a strong foot in in the southwest, the northwest, the north central, and the northeast. It doesn't have strong foot in. If you look at the demographic spread, that is the voting strength across the country. If you take the vote of the Northwest and take the vote of the Southwest, it can comfortably produce the president of the country in terms of the demographic number and spread, but not spread. But when we, when the Igbo speaking governors and Igbo politicians join the APC, it will have a, the APC will have a stronger spread both in the Southeast, the Igbo speaking area, the, south, the Southwest, the North Central, the Northwest, and the Northeast. So we are taking a risk, I agree, to put our eggs in one basket. But it's better to put our eggs in a very beautiful basket than to put it in a sinking basket. The, the PDP, as it is present, is a sinking basket. And so we cannot take that risk. It's better we now join the love boat, which is APC. And I can authoritatively state for record purposes that the APC will win the presidential election from 2023. Just listen to, is it Mr. Fred now or Mr. Uche? Okay, good. Okay, let me go back to uh, Mr. Uche now. Uh, I, I think I, I have, okay, let me stay with Fred because I think I have a bit of a challenge with that narration to see that uh, PDB is a sinking party. Uh, I, I do not understand what you mean by that because there is hardly any um, local government. Let me explain. There is hardly any local government. There is hardly any word where you, they don't know the word PDP. That you are strong in an area, does that make you a regional party? Because somebody might argue that what about APC? APC, you know the story of APC if not for what happened in uh, uh, Imo State, maybe APC would not have any position in the Southeast. Um, Joshua, uh, there's a mix-up. There's a terrible mix-up in your studio. Okay. This is Fred and Zako speaking now, exactly. and I have not spoken before. Okay. The, 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 the other guest um, has uh, been speaking. Okay, so sorry. So, so there please. can be a, um, a, 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 a mix-up from my own end. And, uh, okay, now, now I'm speaking uh, to Fred. There's also a hold back. If any of you has put your phone or your receiving instrument on speaker, you can take it off so that um, the echo will go and we can have a smooth conversation. Okay, Mr. Fred, you now, might have to add. I think it's better now. Can we talk to you now? Um, the question that you responded, do you have a counter-narrative? Well, um, you introduced um, the other guest, um, Uche, as a secretary general or something about um, Ohaneza and Dibo. Um, but um, his um, speech, his prologue, um, he spoke like a typical politician of an APC, um, of APC stock. And, but you can stay and, on um, the question so that but, but, you will but, respond but, but to that. That is, that, is, that is not a problem. Um, uh, uh, Ohaneza is uh, a non-partisan organization. Of, um, is a sociocultural, is an apex sociocultural Igbo organization and um, does not delve into partisanship uh, except uh, trying to further and uh, enhance the welfare, the interests, and the progress of Ndibo all over the world. Then be that as it may, the decision by, by His Excellency David Omahe of uh, Ebony State to join APC is a very personal decision. Politics is all about uh, freedom of association. If he associated with PDP all these years, 
and was a governor by 2023 he would have been governor for eight years and uh, he now feels it is right time for him to join another political party it is a right nobody will take it away from him but he should not couch that on the fact that he is fighting for the interests of evil people uh, it will be more um, appropriate if he says that he wants to further his personal political interest in uh, in the APC. Nobody will begrudge him, and we will only wish him good luck. And because what is important, there's a saying in Igbo land that what is important is um, uh, when they say you have to walk at the village square, no matter where you wake up from, let's find yourself at the village square to do the work. As we speak, the majority of Ndibo are interested in, in being included in, in the mainstream of Nigerian politics. And that is to ensure that the, the, the shout about marginalization and deprivation, both in terms of policy and the politics against Ndibo in Nigeria, is arrested permanently at least 50, over 50 years after the civil war that was declared no victor, no vanquished. It seems a, a state policy that an Igbo man will not ascend the, the presidency of Nigeria. Some people will argue that, that power is not served a la carte, that you have to fight for it. So if um, uh, Chibu Mahi wants to fight for power through the uh, platform of APC, there is absolutely nothing wrong about it. We're wishing well. Okay, Mr. And Fred. He, when he gets, and when he gets the ticket of the party, he will get our support. But okay. that should not mean that PDP will be slaughtered on the altar of political personal interest of uh, Mr. Omai. Okay, thank you so much. Um, the, le, le, since um, you are here, I will not help you to respond. But Mr. Uche, he yeah. mentioned something about Ndigbo is supposed to be non-partisan, and uh, they're talking about one is Ndigbo now. But some, okay, let me not speak for you. What's your response to that? You know, saying that uh, PDB is a sinking ship, and therefore the way to go is APC. Well, uh, his he, uh, his uh, his contention is not supported by an historical antecedent. In 2011. Ohanez Ndibo supported Jonathan. In 2015, Ohanez Ndibo supported Jonathan. Hmm. In 2019, the present general, before the crack world, adopted Atiku, asking whether it is not true. I, the secretary general, I adopted Buhari because I knew Buhari was going to win. And I won that we are taking a risk to put our eggs in a sinking basket being um, article. And I, my prophecy and my stand prevailed. Any organization in the world that is not political is doomed. So what he's saying is not based on historical uh, antecedents. I'm sure he does not know how Ohanese has functioned for years now. And I, I'm saying on the position of fact and authority that Ohanese have been political. Now, let me address the issue of Omai. He doesn't know the position of Omai in Igbo land. Omai is the chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum. And the Southeast is made up of both the APC, the ABGA, and the PDP. So Omai is a leader in his own right. Omai is a leader of Igbo nation in his own right. As the chairman of the Governors Forum of the of the Southeast extraction. So we are saying that my movement to the APC is a huge plus for the APC because he's the chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum. Two, I am saying authoritatively that if Omai, as my moves, two very important states, one on the extreme of the north and one at the heartland of Igbo, have moved to the APC. Imo State has 27 local government areas, and it is the uh, state with the highest number of local government areas in Igbo land. All the members of the House Assembly, all the members of the council, the governor, the permanent secretary, special advisors are all on APC. If Omai, as Omai is moving, the APC, DDP will collapse in Ebony and collapse completely. 
In Anambra, the governor is not PDP. So virtually it will be two governors APC, one ABGA, and two PDP. And as I've said, you can take me for my words. Governor Okezi Tazo of Abia is leaving the PDP to the APC. So the APC will tie and not the authority. Okay, Uche. The PDP to the APC. The PDP will okay, tie and not the Mr. Uche Okuku, uh, uh, because of time and conversation, let me quickly get Mr. Fred uh, angle to what you said. He is saying that this is not the first time. And what is wrong in going, according to him now, in going to where the wind seems to be headed? Hello? I think um, I'm talking to Fred now. Fred, Joshua, I didn't get your question. Can you repeat that quickly? It was so unequivocal that the antecedents of Oanese Indigo they always go partisan, and therefore this time around, what is wrong in going to what he claimed is the way the wind is headed, which is APC? I think it is um, it is rather surprising that your guest uh, on the other side. He, has labeled Ohanes and Dibo, a, a political party and a partisan organization, over and against the, the, the instrument of registration of the organization, registered in Part C of Corporate Affairs Commission as a non governmental, non partisan, Mr. non political Fred, organization. Mr. Fred, Mr. Fred the sorry, individuals. Let me, let me help you. I guess you had a problem with uh, the network when he was talking. He said they endorsed PDP. That is challenging you to, you know. To, that is to what that I'm comment. saying. That's what I'm saying. The 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 individuals in Ohanes are human beings, and every human being is a political animal. You are free as an individual to hold political views or opinions, and uh, that was part of the cracks that Ohanes had when some members of the leadership cadre of Ohanes try to endorse one political party or the other. Okay. It was a very huge crack. But then, that is not even the issue. And I think your, your, your guest on the other side is speaking like, um, uh, without being derogatory, he is uh, speaking like a typical political babalawo who, whose uh, uh, theories are based on conjecture. A lot of if this, if that, and this will happen. Nobody, politics is so dynamic and so fluid that um, you can sit in your room and do your permutation and then it will turn out not to be what you, what you, what you conjecture. So I think I will advise him to lessen his conjecture and then uh, face the political realities. If Devo Mwai is moving and uh, if he's moving purely, and I said it earlier, essentially because of his personal political advancement, there is nothing wrong with it. If uh, the other governors of um, uh, Abia State and um, Anambra State, eventually, though they have not made it open, uh, your friend is saying as if they, has, um, they have, uh, they have uh, spoken to him. Uh, let him, let him take that prerogative. If they have spoken to him, I have no problem with that. If they decide to move over to APC, that's entirely their business. Nobody even asked them to remain in the party where they have been. And nobody will force them to go to any other party. But the essential thing I am talking about is that the generality of Igbos believe that, speaking strictly politically, that they should be given a fair chance to take a shot at the presidency of Nigeria, at least as a sign that they have been integrated into the mainstream. Okay. Even though so many people believe that that does not even... Uh, guarantee that um, uh, uh, an Eldorado for Ndibo, uh, but at least on the side of politics, of that will ensure or give an impression, a seeming impression that Igbos have been integrated. Okay. And such integration cannot take place without the cooperation of all that ethnic nationalities that make up the country called Nigeria. Thank so, you. Thank you so much, Fred. The time is really fast spent, and thank you for the other position. But in 60 seconds, Mr. Ucho Kuku, let me hear your final comment, putting, into, putting this into context, that it will it not be wiser to have all your eggs spread, at least in those two baskets, rather than saying PDP is sinking, and therefore it has to be APC, remembering 
what happened to the Southwest when they were coming in in 1999? We had who candidates. Told, who, who has guaranteed you that the Mr. Omahi will be given the presidential ticket of APC? No, no, no. I'm talking to I'm talking to Uche now. I'm talking so, to him that um, so, let's. So the, who, where is that guarantee? Okay. That the ticket is waiting for him for to, so for, had, to pick. He will have this so for the if response. So it is a Mr. political Fred, idea can to you put people now? into APC, that will not work. The interest of the Igbos is what is paramount and what is important. Okay. I hope you have not hijacked my protest now. Okay, let me listen to Mr. Uche. Yeah. Yeah, can you yes. respond to that question I asked just now? What is the question, sir? The question is, some will argue that why just shut down PDP? Don't you think it would be wiser to have Igbo spread across the major political parties as probably the candidate, talking about strategy now? No, the, that, strategy, that strategy is not only deceitful, it's weak and feeble. We will not uh, waste our time with a But that was the strategy of the Southwest in 1999. The is that, hello? Wasn't that the strategy of the Southwest in 1999? No, that, the, 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 the situation, excuse me, excuse me. The situation in the 1999 election was there was a perceived injustice okay. against the annulment and the death of Adiola, the death of the annulment of Joseph and Adiola, and the country met for this peace, for this to real concede and that was transition we are now having a party democracy and we have a party power that is that had won election okay. and is city and the party will transit i am telling you that where is a strong president is a strong character his party will win two let me correct the impression of the speaker on the other side your time my is left, almost my brother. omar is not joining the party for selfish interest or personal interest. Omar is joining the party as the leader of the Igbo's Governor's Forum, the South East Governor's Forum. Three, the third point is that if it's not scientific enough to predict, he should know clearly that I'm not talking like a Babalawo. I, I know you know Babalawo is making daughter. If you say Babalawo is an Egyptian, he then is a blind Egyptian, he's a blind Egyptian who does not see. Tomorrow, I am seeing tomorrow. I am telling the authority okay. to Mr. Uche, Mr. Uche, Uche Okuku, I wish we, we have more have time to participate in the party primaries, and we will be not be there. We will shut out of it. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Uche Okuku, Secretary General on his Indigo. I wish we have more time to speak more on this because I know Mr. Fred is Zelko has more to say. But thank you, gentlemen, for your. Your, no, your contributions on this issue. Okay, let's quickly take a short break. And when we return, tips on repairing the political arena of our country is next. We'll be back after the short break.